I'm ready. Me too. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey man, you going out for football? Band class still needs you, man. Kansas students have choices. To do or not to do. The Kansas State High School Activities Association urges everyone to participate because when activities stop, nobody wins. Interest Bank is a major sponsor of the Northwest Soccer Program through the Eric Profit Scholarship Tournament. At Interest Bank, we place our values at the center of everything we do. It's a philosophy we have followed for more than 140 years. This principled approach to business is encapsulated into three words, tradition for today. This principle makes us different from the rest. Check out Interest Bank today at IntrustBank.com. Hi friends, Bill Nightingale, General Manager of Mel Hamilton Ford. Are you looking for a used car, truck, or SUV with the largest selection in the state? You're sure to find the vehicle you're searching for at Mel Hamilton Ford. At the big corner, customers are number one, so every used vehicle is checked out in our shop by a certified technician before it goes out on the lot for sale. Shop Mel Hamilton Ford first, a dealer you can trust. Visit us out on West Kellogg today or shop us online at mhford.com. Mel Hamilton Ford, experience the difference. Grizzly Soccer Online is supported by Todd Eflin Narrates. I'm the voice you hear on our sponsor announcements. My wife is an alum of Northwest, and this is my sixth season as your announcer. I was a longtime radio personality in Wichita, and now do full-time voice acting. You can use my voice for your business, like product or training videos, telephone systems, radio or TV spots, and audiobooks. Learn more online at toddefflin.com. That's T-O-D-D-E-F-L-I-N.com. Wichita Northwest Grizzlies soccer is on the air. Welcome to everyone in Grizzly Nation to another webcast of your Wichita Northwest Grizzlies as they take on the best teams in Kansas and pursue a 6A state title. Follow your Grizzlies all season long on YouTube.com slash NWHS Grizz. Today's webcast is brought to you through the support of the many sponsors of this year's Eric Profit Scholarship Golf Tournament including the following. Mel Hambledon Ford, on the big corner of 119th West and Kellogg. We're better. We're proving it. You be the judge. Thank you, Lisa Hamilton. And by Aerotech Engineering, 5555 North 119th Street West in Mays, serving customers that rank among the world's largest manufacturers of civilian and military aircraft. Thank you, Tom Simon and everyone at Aerotech Engineering. By Tom Lasseter and Fleeson, Gooing, Colson, and Kitch, attorneys in the Epic Center at 301 North Main. We believe our clients' best interests and needs are our own. By Intrust Bank of Wichita, 
105 North Main with branches throughout Sedgwick County. Interest is built on value. We change to meet the times, but we will never change our principles. By Dan Garreau and the law firm of Dugan & Garreau, experts in personal injury, business law, workers' compensation, wills, and trusts. Now with our new location at 3636 North Ridge Road, Suite 100. By McCurdy Real Estate and Auction on East 13th Street, just east of K96, serving Kansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma for over 40 years. Real estate, but better. By the Joe and Judy Coughlin and the Chris and Jan Schumacher families. Strong supporters of Grizzly Soccer through the Eric Profit Memorial Soccer Fund. By Emerson Biggins, 808 East Douglas at the east edge of Old Town. Come visit Emerson Biggins and enjoy the great food, cold brews, and hospitality of Luis Lopez and his staff today. By Hurricane Sports Bar at the corner of 13th and Tyler. Luis Lopez has brought his hospitality west to make it convenient to Grizzly Nation. By Credit Union of America where members are the owners. With branches all over the Wichita metro area, Credit Union of America stands ready to serve you. By Todd Eflin Narrates. Hey, that's me. Voiceovers for audiobooks, product or promotional videos, telephone systems, and business commercials. By the Robert L. Gould Foundation, a philanthropic trust assisting the educational needs of young people at Northwest for over 10 years. By the Eric Profit Memorial Soccer Fund providing scholarship assistance to Northwest Soccer Seniors each year through the support of the Eric Profit Scholarship Golf Tournament. And by the many other sponsors who make this webcast possible. And now, to the field and to the voice of the Grizzlies, Kevin Arkin. Thank you, Todd Eflin, and welcome back, everyone, to Bobby Bribieska Family Stadium where the Grizzlies will play their semi-final game in the gold bracket against the Goddard Lions, who got there by virtue of their win over uh, South. South High. And a very close game, one to nothing was that score. So uh, we're looking for another low-scoring game uh, with two good defensive teams going at it here in the... Uh, in this contest. I didn't like that. But I think we're okay. Glad to have you back with us. Thanks for joining us for round two. And again, uh, the uh, Grizzlies won their first game three to nothing over Circle High School out of Tawanda. And Circle will play South High in their loser's bracket second round. And their game is already underway. Their game is underway. Our game is running late, and you may have figured that out because we got on the air late. The game before ours on this field was between Cape and Mount Carmel and May South, and it went into penalty kicks, and that's the reason for the delay here. And they just finished the warm-ups, and it won't be long before the teams come out. Let me quickly give you the starting lineups. We'll start with the Goddard Lions, who will be wearing white as the designated visiting team. In goal, number double zero, a sophomore, Caspi Esparza. Number uh, seven is a sophomore, Lakin Eichbauer. Number 18 is a sophomore, Kinsley Ballard. Number 19 is a freshman, Isabel Zapata. Number 20, a freshman, Riley Mantanona. Number 22 is a junior, Avrea Palacios. 23, a junior, Tristan Carr. 27, a sophomore, Liliana Rising. 28, a sophomore, Addie Stelling. Number 31, a sophomore, Hope Gettings, and finally, number 35, a sophomore, Madden Snyder. Goddard is coached by Josh Hansen, assisted by Ryan Rooney and Tim Harris. Now the starters for your Grizzlies, who will be wearing their home blues in this contest. In goal, a sophomore, number zero, April Isbell. 
<clears throat> midfielder, sophomore, number four, Geraldine Ailman. Senior forward, number five, Riley Bell. Sophomore midfielder, number six, Kiera Lopez. Sophomore midfielder, number seven, Amaya Bates. Sophomore midfielder, number nine, Mackenzie Nistis. Sophomore defender, number 13, Michaela Nistis. Sophomore midfielder, number 14, Brooklyn Munoz. Junior defender, number 15, Isabel Santiago Morrison. Freshman defender, number 16, Audrey Thomas. And senior defender, number 23, Helena Kelting. We've just kicked off. We are underway here. Grizzlies are playing from right to left with the wind here in the first half of this contest. Hey. I'm going to go stand right here. Okay. okay. We're joined by a couple members of our varsity squad who are coming up here to see where the real brain trust of this team is. Audrey Thomas gets it, takes it forward for Northwest. Now that one's going to go out of play, and that'll be a throw in for Goddard. Again, Goddard in white, Northwest in blue. Northwest playing right to left with the wind, which has picked up again, blowing at about 20 miles an hour. Pretty steady. Kelting with it, playing the defensive center. Over to Nistis. Nistis sends one forward. Here's a chance for Brooklyn Munoz if she can get to it first. Unfortunately, she cannot, and Cassie Esparza will have a goalkeeper distribution. Very short, intercepted by Nistis, and now we're on the far side to Munoz. <clears throat> Michaela Nistis sends one out of play, and it will be a throw-in for the Goddard Lions. Goddard, a small town, for those of you who don't know, about, oh, 15 miles or so west of here. I say a small town, it's a boom town. And there are two high schools there now. There's the original Goddard, loose ball there on the floor, and the Sparza falls on it. <clears throat> the original Goddard is who we're playing, and, oh, about... Ten years ago, I guess, they opened a second high school, Goddard Eisenhower High School. They're not in this tournament. Yes, they are. They're in they are in this tournament? They are. Like I said, they're in this <laughs> tournament, too, but they're in a different bracket. They are in a different bracket. They just got done playing Topeka Washburn over on the turf. Who won that one? I'm not sure because they also went into PKs. Oh. Was that in the picture I took? Probably not. No. Corner kick for Northwest. Loose in front. Kelting got a head on it, I believe. <coughs> Goes out, and we're going to do it again. Brooklyn Munoz over there to take the corner. They'll have the wind at their back. In the air it goes. Loose on the floor again, and they trying to clear it out. They're so far unable to. Now they get it out. Ailman gets a shot off, and it's blocked out to center. Morrison will send it back forward again. Back the Geraldine Ailman over on the far side to Munoz. Brooklyn centering one, and that one's going to be chipped out of play, and it will be another corner for Northwest on the far side, and Brooklyn's getting a lot of practice at this. In the air, this one's going to go over for a goal kick for the Lions. If you just joined us, no score. This is the semifinal game of the gold bracket of this tournament. Winners will play tomorrow. We're going to play tomorrow at 9.30 whether we win this game or not. 
And that one by Thomas goes over everything and almost ended up in Sumner County. I'm glad we're just shooting right now. I do too. Taking advantage of the wind. Let's keep the ball down there in front of the Lions. The Lions only scored one goal in their first game. So it's not like we are facing a team that's on an offensive juggernaut march. Amaya Bates on the near side takes it and chips it over here to Lopez. Chips back to Morrison. Morrison to Bates. And this one sent deep. Morrison back. Isbell out of her goal to take it. And Goddard falls off. Ball comes up here to Amaya Bates, and she'll send it up here to Kiera Lopez right below us. Lopez. She sends one to Riley Bell. Back over here now to Thomas. Good ball possession by Grizzlies here. And that one's going to get knocked out of play by Lopez. It'll be a throw-in for the Lions. Throw comes down the line, and that's going to roll by Georgia Stadium. I can't believe it. That one comes out off of Amaya Bates, and that's unfortunate. Six minutes gone, first half, no score. And Lopez knocks that right to the coaching staff of Goddard. Had a nice chance for a long visit with the coaching staff of the Lions and very, very pleasant group. People we've known for a while. That one goes out of play. It'll be throw in for Goddard. All right, you'll have to back up a little bit. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, no. Far be it from me to give you the opportunity to frame my bald spot. Uh, and looks like instead of a throw in, we have a foul. The free kick for us. Nice. So I see. Morona sends it over here to Lopez on the near side. She's got some room to work with. Centered one to Bell. Couldn't get to it. Moronis again. Oh, a nice ball to Lopez. Corner of the penalty area. Lopez again. Now Thomas. And Goddard comes away with it. Morona sends it forward. Nobody there but white shirts this time. This one comes back through and Isabel sends it wide to Nistis. Up the far side to Brooklyn Munoz. And we have a throw in held up because we're going to have a substitution as J.C. Sure number eight comes in for Northwest. J.C. will replace Lopez. Back underway as the throw in comes in. Morrison sends it forward for Thomas. And JC sure is going to get a chance at this one. Spin move. Back to Thomas, back to Bates, back up to JC. JC. Tried to get that to Thomas again. The pass was intercepted. Lions trying to do something with it. Kelting comes through to intercept that pass. Sends it forward. And that's kicked back deep by the Lions. And Isbell will come out of her goal. Out of play in front of the sellout crowd. It will belong to 
the Lions. Nistis on the far side gets behind the defense. Can she get a shot off? Now it's taken off of her foot. She comes back to get it again. Chips it into the open spot, but nobody there to get it. Moronis a shot. Blocked by the defense. Sure comes up to apply pressure. And this is going to come over here to Amaya Bates on the near side. Bates will bring it up. Nobody, nobody attacking Bates. She centers one, blocked by the defense. Morrison chips it forward for Nistis to Bell. And the shot oh. is blocked and goes wide and is fallen on by Cassie Esparza, the goalkeeper for the Lions. There's a, There's a bad oh. pass and a bad break because that ball had goal written on it. That totally had goal written on it. Distribution was intercepted up close in the penalty area, in fact. Yeah, well, not, yeah, right at the 18. The shot went wide. It stays at zero. Back out here to center. Moronis sends it back to Helena Kelting. Kelting to Nistis. Back to uh, Moronis. And this goes... wide we'll have a throw in here for Northwest Nistis will throw it in and looks like she's going to get to do it again yeah, move it down a few yards we'll do it all over again And that one is intercepted. Pretty nice play that time by Goddard. Bates, oh, her pass is blocked. And we have an offside call. It'll be a free kick for Northwest. Looks like Helena is going to get to take that one. Nice boot by Kelting. Almost too nice because it went all the way back to Esparza. Just needed her to get a little bit closer and she could take a shot. Hilma to Thomas. Now back over to the far side to Brooklyn Munoz and it pops over her shoe and is going to roll out of play, and that'll be a throw in for Goddard. Adeline Garcia, number 16, comes in for the Lions. Thirteen minutes gone, no score. Goddard and Northwest. In the middle. Thomas over to Bates. Maya Bates giving chase after her own pass. Goes up to Shore. Back to Bates. Bates sends it to Morrison. And back over to Kelting. Kelting up to Thomas. Good ball possession by the Grizzlies here. This one over to Ailman. Nistis back to Ailman again. That one blocked out of play. It'll be a throw in for Northwest. Nistis throws it in to Geraldine Ailman, and 
She had a little bit of room to work with and a nice ball right at the foot of J.C. Sure, She gets a shot off blocked by the defense. This one's going to go into the bench of Goddard, and it'll be a throw in for Northwest. Okay. JC sure with it. Near the goal line. Centers one. Oh, Riley Bell whiffed on it. Ailman oh. skims it off the crossbar. <clears throat> nice play. Beautiful shots. Halfway through the first half, no score. Grizzlies dominating play, however. Or that's just me. Uh, Is the sound cutting out of you? Yes. Wonder. No, I wonder what's going on here. Let's just double check these connections. Yeah, it was cut, it was cutting in and out, but I have I know, no I've, idea where. I don't well, know if that was going out over oh, the air that way, but I know I center. was. I wasn't hearing it's myself so very well. JC Shore on the near side works it up. Bates to Thomas and back to Bates. Bates tried to feed Bell and got intercepted. Here's Bell off a chance and a score. Give that assist to Geraldine Ailman. Fantastic. Riley Bell finishes it, and it's one to nothing. Ailman fed the pass in. It was partially deflected, but she still got it. In there hard enough that was to fantastic. Bell was able to go in there and pick it up and ram it home. One to nothing, Northwest. Long one poked in deep. Helena will send it wide for Nistus. Nistus brings it up. Gets it back. <clears throat> Kelting again with it. Munoz feeds oh. one into the penalty area, but Esparza will grab it. <clears throat> Pretty good punt into the wind. Kelting sends it forward. Bates will get it on the near side. Amaya brings it up. Feeds J.C. Shore. Nice centering pass by Shore. Hailman feeds it to Munoz. Munoz. It's a long mm. shot in there oh. and not high enough. Been higher over the arms. That was that, that was a was, goal. That was that was awesome. Just gotta keep it up. Grizzlies may <clears throat> done a great job of maintaining the pressure. And that one goes. Did that go over for a corner? It did go over for a corner. Why George Grizzlies will have an opportunity and they'll sub in uh, Kira Lopez will come back in along with Kylie Foreman for Bates. Who else is coming out here? Uh, Ailman's coming out. She deserves the break. She got that great assist. Absolutely she does. We'll give her a breather. In the air. Munoz can't get a foot on it. 
Now it lands on her foot. Can she do something? She sends it wide. Thomas over there. Back in to Foreman. Ball still bounding in the penalty area. Finally cleared out. And Morrison sends it right back up to Riley Bell. A shot! And that's going to go wide off the foot of Mackenzie Nistis. <clears throat> and it will be a goal kick for Goddard. It stays 1 0. Northwest with about 10 20 remaining here in the first half. Grizzlies will play at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Breakfast with the Grizzlies tomorrow. I'll definitely have my coffee with me. I'm sorry, say it again. I said I'll definitely have my coffee with me. Well, yeah. I might bring up some hot chocolate tomorrow. <laughs> if it's, it's, gonna, it's supposed to be 38 tomorrow morning. <laughs> Um, no, thank you. So I will have a cup of coffee and maybe a thermos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We plan to be on the air. <coughs> Pardon me. We'll be on the air tomorrow. At 20 after 9. Excuse me. <coughs> for the third and final game of this uh, JV tournament for Northwest. Every team in the tournament plays three games. And Grizzlies are going to be a tired bunch tomorrow. Oh, yeah. They played last night. They played twice today. They'll get a couple days break before then they play again on play Tuesday. Play south on Tuesday right here. And we'll be here, weather permitting. The weather Tuesday is supposed to be pretty nice from what I understand. I think that's the last I heard. I'm not so sure about tomorrow morning. I, last I heard, it, there might be rain tomorrow morning. And, of course, if there is rain tomorrow, we will not do a broadcast off the oh. post. We're out in the open, so we can't do a broadcast in the rain. But if it's not raining, we will be here. And I may throw a tarp in the truck tonight when I get home, just in case we try to do something with a little bit of raindrops. Or I could, I could bring my canopy. We'll get blown off of this, off this. I don't know. I don't know either. We can attempt. Well, you know what, if you, I know it's a tent. The problem is there's no way to anchor it. Oh, I've got weights. No. Oh. But we, I, it, it, could, it could definitely be an attempt. I have no problem with that attempt. I would suggest you pack that. Okay. And we, we will try it. What I really need over this thing is a roof. Unfortunately, my request for a roof was rejected. I also wanted it to be six feet wider. That got rejected, too. J.C. Shure with it on the near side. Thomas to Shure. Shure, nice feed into the penalty area, but nobody home. Comes all the way out to center now, and Kelting will... Fight for it, get it, and give it to Lopez. Kira Lopez sending one past Morrison. Nesta sends one forward, and that's headed out by the defense. Good play by Goddard. That one gets headed out of play. It'll be a throw in for Northwest. <laughs> Good ball to Nista. Centering oh, pass. Oh. Got behind everybody. JC Sure had to come out to get it. Now she nice. spin moves, gets it back into the penalty area, and decides to send it back out here where Lopez will work with it. Lopez has her pass intercepted, gets right back to her. Still fighting with it. Now splits two defenders with it. 
There's a shot by Lopez, and it goes wide. That'll be a goal kick for Goddard. Esparza will set it up with six minutes to go here in the first half. Grizzlies leading one to nothing. Malia Jackson getting set to come in for Northwest. Up here on the near side. And a little handball there. It's okay, she only used two hands. Oh, then that's... You know, that's, it's only two hands. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Thomas sends it right for the goal post, and there to get it, of course, is Esparza. Esparza puts one in the air short. Looks like that is going out. And now Jackson will come in for Northwest, number 18, and she will replace J.C. Shore. J.C. did a lot of offense while she was in there on this trip. Did everything but get it in the hole. Four minutes to go. Still time for another goal or two before we lose the wind. And that one goes out of play for a throw win. Nistis will throw it in and does so. Out of play again. We'll do it again. This time it comes back into Morrison. Morrison sends it forward. It goes out of play. We'll do it again. Now you are starting to sound like a broken record. <laughs> I know. I feel like a Einstein's definition of insanity. <laughs> oh, that one popped by Riley. It'll go out of play for a goal kick. And you know what the definition of insanity is. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You don't know that one? Yeah. Oh, no, that one I know. Yeah. Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. That's right. <laughs> There's a slight foul. <laughs> Jackson gets pushed to the ground and... Thomas will have a free kick for Northwest. Hope one goes right to Esparza, yeah. no big deal. The right idea, but you got to get it in there where we can get to it. Yep. Kelting, a nice job to intercept okay, that one. Shot. And she gets a shot oh. off. Oh, that was a blast. And a foot <laughs> save by Esparza. Yep, I need her to start taking more shots out that far. I agree. Okay, Alanista sends one forward. Now it comes back. That one goes out of play, and it will belong to Goddard. Fast-moving game here in the first half. Fast pace. Pretty much dominated by Northwest, even though they only have one score out of it. Riley Bell. Lopez will get it over here on the near side. And Lopez goes down. That'll be a foul. And a free kick for Northwest. Inside two minutes to go. Plenty of time for another goal here. It looks like Helena's going to take that one. See what See Helena can, can do with this. Put it in the net. And she puts it on goal and it goes oh. off the arm, outstretched arm of Esparza. It'll be a corner kick for Northwest. And no, she didn't score, but yes, she set us it up with another opportunity. I think, and I think if if she does score this weekend, I may have to treat her to some more ice cream. 
Did you go to ice cream last night? I meant to ask that. We actually did. They, oh. they, they started begging. Where was mine? <laughs> Where'd you go? We went to Andy's. Oh, okay. That is, I think that has become one of her favorites. Andy's is good. Chocolate. I prefer the chocolate. Yeah, April had the chocolate, the triple chocolate. Loose in front. Foreman has her shot blocked. Grizzlies did everything but score there. And we have a whistle, and that's halftime. All right. For a second, at, I thought it might have been a At the end of one half of play, it's uh, Northwest 1 and Goddard nothing. We're at halftime. We'll be back with our halftime extravaganza, whatever there is of it, <coughs> after this commercial timeout. Stay with us. You're watching NWHS Grizz, and this is Grizzly Soccer. Friendly is finding a better rate, an instant debit card, scholarships and teacher grants for projects, loans specifically for teachers and healthcare professionals, being the number one auto lender for a reason, more than $400,000 in community partnerships, Credit Union of America, welcome to Friendly. Learn more at cuofamerica.com. This may sound like a typical high school basketball game being played on a Friday night in Kansas. In fact, it's a crash course in cooperation and teamwork. It's a test of dedication, determination, and drive. It's character development in action. If you think high school sports are only about competition, think about this. High school sports can play a critical role in a student's overall education. In fact, studies show that students who participate in school sports are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in their academic lives. At the same time, playing sports helps teach lessons not covered in the classroom. Lessons like tolerance, respect for the rules, and the importance of supporting your community. High school sports. A winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Kansas State High School Activities Association and the Kansas Center Scholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Hi friends, Phil Nightingale, General Manager at Mount Hamilton Ford. Have you been thinking about a new SUV? Right now is a great time to buy a new Ford at the Big Ford of 119th and West Gallo. EcoSport, Escape, Edge, Explore, Expedition. Mount Hamilton Ford is sure to have the right vehicle to fit your size. And you know you can count on us with this great selection to find the right SUV at the best price to fit your budget. Check us out online or in person. Let us make your purchase easy with pickup and delivery right from your home or work. Mount Hamilton Ford, experience the difference. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means the power to discover. To redefine yourself. To improve yourself. To challenge yourself. To realize there's more in you than you ever knew that you could do. It means giving people an open field to explore what they do best. With the best tools. The best training. The best technology in the world. We bring out the best in the people who serve. So you can be all you can be. Grizzly Soccer Online is supported by Todd Eflin Narrates. I'm the voice you hear on our sponsor announcements. My wife is an alum of Northwest, and this is my sixth season as your announcer. I was a longtime radio personality in Wichita, and now do full-time voice acting. You can use my voice for your business, like product or training videos, telephone systems, radio or TV spots, and audiobooks. Learn more online at toddeflin.com. That's T-O-D-D-E-F-L-I-N.com.
She said, well, he had a whistle. He had his whistle on his finger. So? His, he had it up here, and he was doing that. In case he... I said, he's not supposed to have the whistle anywhere near his mouth unless he plans to use it. Yeah. That's why you put it on a lanyard. <coughs> a wrist lanyard. Uh -huh. So that it's down here, and you have from down here to up here, here to, to change your mind. Welcome back, folks, to Bobby Bribiaska Family Stadium. Go right ahead. Grizzlies lead one to nothing here at halftime. And they'll have the wind. <laughs> you know, I didn't have any trouble talking most of the first half, and all of a sudden it's back. They'll have the wind at in their face here in the second half. They have to play into what is turning into a pretty brisk wind. I look at the f corner flags. They're moving. The wind is at least 20 miles an hour. And if you look across the way at the sellout crowd over there, they, uh, they're they all bundled up. It's getting colder. Uh, Ashley and, I'm eight, and I have each added a layer, as have the coaching, have all the coaches. Uh, April Isbell headed back for her spot and goal down there at the other end. Grizzlies will play left to right, south to north, into the stiff breeze. And it will be... Goddard, who kicks off. <laughs> Waiting the whistle. And we're underway here in the second half. Bates quickly intercepts that one. Now it goes out of play, and it will belong to Goddard. All right, now we got to work on getting it back to the other end again. And now the wind, of course, again, favors Goddard. This didn't seem to matter last night, though. No. And it didn't matter earlier today. No. Of course, there wasn't as much wind earlier today as there is now. Grizzlies come away with it. Beautiful run up the far side by Lopez. Now the ball poked back forward. Two on five come the Lions. That one gets kicked out of play. It'll be a throw in for Goddard. Deep in Grizzly territory from the far side of the field. This one of four games still in progress. We'll give you a complete rundown of all of the scores of today's games uh, when we go on the air tomorrow. Lions have it. That's Emma Schmidt sending it forward. And that one's headed right for us. Kaylin Estes, nice play. Gets it to Munoz. Brooklyn gets it to Ailman. And back to Kelting. And now again to Nistis. Nistis up the near side. Still has it. Still has it. Still has it. Looking to pass it. Centering pass on a beauty. And that's going to go over the goal line. That'll be a corner kick for Northwest. And what a nice play Fantastic. and run. 
you don't by Michaela Nistis, and she gets a big hand from Brooklyn Munoz for an outstanding effort. That was a beautiful run. Audrey Thomas will take the corner kick from the near side. She'll have the wind in her face. There it is in the air, and it's headed away. Thomas will come back and get it and center it again. Goes through everybody. Here's a chance for Helena, and she puts it over the top. <laughs> It'll be a goal kick for Goddard. Brooklyn Munoz, nice trap. Brooklyn, a shot. And it goes wide, and it will be another goal kick. Stopped by some fans walking to another field. Ball sent wide for the Lions. Grizzlies get it back. Here's a chance for Northwest. Riley Bell hustling forward. Now Ailman gets it and sends it wide for Thomas. Audrey Thomas can't get a shot off. Cleared out to center. Helena Kelting fighting for it and will give way to Amaya Bates on the far side. Bates back to Kelting, and she can't get to it in time. It goes back to Morrison. Back to Audrey Thomas, to Bates. And good job by Kelting to intercept that pass that stopped a breakaway. Here's Nistis again. Michaela Nistis, a nice ball up the middle for Munoz. That one comes down, and Nistis couldn't keep it from going out. It'll be a throw-in for Goddard. Throw-in comes in, and Nistis taps it into her own bench, so we'll do it all over again. Five minutes gone in the second half. Still 1-0 Northwest. Maya Bates double teamed over there. Now triple teamed and boom! See you later! <laughs> Maya Bates crashes into the defender who fortunately got right back up. Thomas sends it over on the near side to Munoz. Munoz to Ailman. Now to Kelting. Oh, nice ball up the middle. And Ailman comes in to send one wide. Lopez over there to get it for Northwest. Stepped on the ball, unfortunately. And this one goes into the concession stand. Free kick for a uh, throw in for Northwest, and we have a mess here because Northwest has 12 people on the field. Yeah, we had one ref call her on. Lizette Moreno started in before they called her on. Now they've stopped playing. We'll do it all over again. Maya Bates is going to come out. It's good to see Moreno in the game. She got injured again in the first game today. We aggravated her previous injury and there was talk of holding her out of this game entirely but she wanted to play some so uh, this is her first appearance of the day in this game that throw in is intercepted <laughs> 
Let's least get it back and send it in deep. Now we need to go get it. And it's kicked out of play into the concession area. <coughs> Throw in for Northwest. Ball comes back. And now sent forward. Boy, that ball had some spin on it, didn't it? Oh, I can't even see it. I'm barely seeing Actually, the ball right back. here. Actually, it bounced back. It bounced instead of bouncing forward, it bounced backward. <laughs> that ball comes back. Kelting will send it back to April Isbell. Isbell gets her first touch of the second half. And that's the only kind of touch I want her to have. Me too. Up the middle, Nistus with it. And a great ball for Munoz. Beautiful pass. Corner of the of the penalty area. Now can she get it centered? Got a player draped all over her. She sends it back for Nistus. Nistus can't get anything going. Now Michaela Nistus sends one forward. This one comes back to Helena. She sends it up for Ailman. Ailman wide to Thomas. Thomas a shot? No. Fed it in, nobody there to get it, however. And now Michaela Nistis again, up the near side. She sends one in on a save, a foot save by Esparza. She knocks it over the goal line. It'll be a corner kick for Northwest, and Audrey Thomas will take the corner. Into the wind. This one's kept low, loose in front, shot oh. and a save off the foot of Kelting. Oh, no. Thomas with it again, gives it to Munoz. Munoz centered it, nobody home. Nistis with it. To Munoz. Mignot centers one. That one's loose, and that one is kicked off over the goal line. That will be another corner for Northwest. Audrey Thomas hustling over there to take this corner kick with 20 minutes to go in the second half. Well, let's see if we can do that again. Thomas keeps it low again, loose in front, goes over the goal line. We'll do it all over again. Audrey Thomas is going to have a sore foot when this is over. Yeah. Or a tired foot, I should say. This one's higher in the air, loose in front. Oh. Kelting crashed the goal and got, was, got her foot on the ball, but it went wide for a goal kick. That was awesome, though. That was awesome. I want to keep that going. And the wind continues to pick up here. There's another shot wide. That'll be another goal kick. That one off the foot of Riley Bell. Ailman sends it into the penalty area. You can ask for no more. Kelting. Another good ball forward for Thomas. Thomas sends one in there. <clears throat> Intended for Munoz. Brooklyn couldn't get to it in time. Now she does get there. Feeds it to Nistus. Nistus the shot oh. and it goes just wide left. That ball had goal uh. written on it. JC Sure comes in for Northwest. And she will replace. Lopez. And out it comes. There's a handball. I even saw that one on my screen. They did call it finally. Yeah. Got 
It'll be a free kick for... Of course, they advanced it 20 yards by spotting it. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah, yeah, it was not that close to center. It was nowhere, nowhere near there. Grizzlies fighting on the far side to get it back. And to keep the Schneider intact as they lead 1-0. Kelting, oh, nice job. Helena Kelting, who, in my opinion, is playing her best game of the season. She's she's definitely playing at her comfort level, for sure. This one rolls out of play. It'll be a throw-in for the Grizzlies. That one goes into the sellout crowd. And we do have a pretty decent crowd here today. I, we do, even with the wind and the chill in the air. Not the best day to be a spectator. It's not a bad day to be a player, but to be a spectator, it's a little chilly. Thomas sends one up. Ailman. Nice ball intended for J.C. Shore. There's a pile converging on the ball, and finally Ailman comes away with it. She'll send it up for Mignos, Beautiful. who's wide open. Oh, my gosh. Brooklyn, a big blast. Score! Beautiful. Brooklyn, Mignos off a pass from Ailman, and it's 2-0. Geraldine's second huh? assist. It is her second assist of the game. What a what a shot by Munoz. Beautiful. And what a feed from Aylman. I mean, you can't ask for better. That's just a no. beautiful goal. Cotter will kick off. That's Snyder on the ball. Thomas intercepts that one. And again, the Grizzlies defy all logic and score into a strong wind. Well, thankfully, they, they are keeping it down so they can keep that possession. They've done very well. Keeping it down there is just fine with me. Just needed to go back to the other side now, please. I <laughs> have no problem turning your daughter into the Maytag repairman. Me neither. Hey, but I but I'm sure she would you know appreciates you know being able to touch the ball here and there. Well, I'm I don't want her to touch it here and there. I don't want her to touch it at all. I want her to keep it down there where it belongs, which is in an enemy territory. Thomas trying to come away with it. Nobody wants it. Up the far side. Thomas with it still. And I think they're going to call Thomas for a foul here. I think they did too. And I quite frankly think that's a good call. Goddard getting set to sub in a couple players next outage. It'll be uh, 16, Adeline Garcia, the freshman, and 32, Emma Schmidt, the junior, coming in for the Lions. Next time they have a substitution opportunity, and they'll be joined by Kylie Foreman of Northwest, who has now just approached the midfield stripe, getting set to sub in. That one goes out of play, and now both teams will substitute. I just heard coach basically talk about watch her off. Say it again. I just heard one of the coaches say watch her off. Well, <laughs> I don't think they're going to have to worry about this I'm, very much. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I'm going to do that. Okay. <laughs> See if we can hear you a little better. Yeah. Well, the wind is not helping things. No, the wind is. It's, it's all wind. <laughs> I'm having the same problem, so. 
and it's hard to even cover it. Covering well, it does not help. And the city of Wichita just has now issued a clean underwear alert. So once again, we have wind to deal with. So far, we're dealing with it just fine. Grizzlies leading two to nothing with uh, 12 minutes left. And we're at the right end of the field. And they're doing well to working on defending that title from last year. And should they prevail in this contest, they'll play on this field tomorrow morning in the first game of the day. I believe that's the first game of the day. It is the first game of the day. Kick off at 9.30. We'll be on the air at 9.20 tomorrow morning, regardless of where they play. And we'll let you know tomorrow morning who they play. I don't think we're going to know before we go off air tonight. There's a possibility. There is a possibility because our game is running later than some of the others because of the uh, penalty kicks in the previous game. <laughs> Good tackle there. Wow. Mor Morrison just all over that play. And what are they calling? They're going to call a foul and bring it back there? That doesn't make any sense. They're going to call a foul and bring it back there. So it's going to be northwest ball, but they get penalized 20 yards. I have Bates getting set to come back in. And Helena, nice ball up the middle. Wow, got it all the way to Nistus, the top of the penalty area. Morrison sends it wide. Goes out of play and it will belong to Northwest. And in comes Hamaya Bates, replacing Lizette Moreno. And Lizette did a good job while she was in there. <coughs> Pardon me. And it looks like the ball is Goddard's throwing. How can it be Goddard's throwing if we're subbing? I don't know. Something wrong or, with this picture. Or are they doing it like an open sub where it doesn't matter who's throwing? Well, that's not the rule, though. I didn't. Well, I didn't know because they don't know. They sometimes there's no substitution rule like that in this tournament. Okay, I know they say they sometimes change that for other tournaments. I think what they did was they signaled in the sub and then changed their mind on the possession. Probably. And it was too late to change the subs. Bates with the ball. Sends it over here to Munoz. Now back to Bates. Highly Foreman getting in there. Munoz a foot on it. Bates gets a nice chest trap. That one goes into the bench. It'll be Northwest throw in. And we'll do it again. Bates, beautiful throw. Riley Bell trying to get, get her foot on the ball. Gets a shot off, blocked by the defense. Comes right back to her. She shoots it again, this time Esparza with the save for Goddard. Goddard's going to send uh, sub in two players here. In a moment, number six, Sidley Lemus, a freshman. And number 14, Savannah Cobble, a sophomore. Getting Both getting set to come in for the Goddard Lions at their next opportunity. Grizzlies with it. Brooklyn Munoz again. This one's going to be snuffed out by Esparza. Thank you. 
Geraldine Aylman also getting set to come back in for Northwest. And coming in with Aylman is uh, Kira Lopez. So four people subbing in. Coming out for Northwest, it'll be uh, Mackenzie Nistis and J.C. Shore. Northwest throws it in, and Lopez receives it. Maya Bates will send one forward. And Brooklyn Munoz on the near side. Brooklyn crossing it over. That may be too much and it may go out. It stayed in though. Grizzlies came away with it. There's a shot and that one goes over the goal line and that'll be a corner kick as it was deflected. I don't know if the goalkeeper got it or a defender got it first. But I couldn't tell you. Doesn't matter. Result's the same. Let's see if we can put one of these in. Audrey Thomas will try it again. <clears throat> From the far corner into the wind. Very short. Now we have a whistle and I have no idea what they're calling. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what she, what they called as well. I don't know. What is he doing? He's walking I, to the penalty spot. I I wonder if there was a handball. Might have been. And Helena's getting a chance to score. Kelting is going to take it. Instructions being given to the goalkeeper here. The ball blows off the penalty mark. Kelting puts it back. Awaiting the whistle now. And she oh. missed. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. We've given her every opportunity <laughs> to score. And it hadn't that, happened. This is I, I think that that is just way too close yeah. for her. Too close. I love her, but that is way <laughs> too close. Four and a half to go. <laughs> Four and a half to go in the game. Two nothing Northwest. Bates with it. She puts it in there for, oh, and oh. Un unlucky. Thomas couldn't keep the ball in, and we'll have a throw in for Goddard. Yeah. Kelting with it again. Hey, okay, shoot from out here. And she send one into the middle. Nista sends it forward for Northwest. Aylman with it. Sends it wide. Nistis with it. On the far side now. This one goes in deep. And it's going to go over the goal line. That'll be a goal kick. Goddard will get it. Did I hear a whistle on our field? I think so, but I don't know what. I don't think so. Whistle. Well, or is it? Yeah, because behind us is done. We have, well, oh, they are done over there, so it had to be here. I, well, they, they've awarded a free kick. I don't know what it was for.
Thomas sends it over here to Brooklyn Munoz. Munoz, corner of the penalty area. Centering one. Oh, Thomas couldn't get it on her foot. Morona sends it wide. That one gets popped up in the air on a deflection. It goes over the goal line. And they're going to award goal kick to Goddard. As we approach two minutes remaining in the contest. Grizzlies lead 2-0. Elena. <laughs> I hear to somebody. Munoz, Munoz, top of the penalty area. And Helena has the ball go off her foot and out of play, and that's gonna that should be, and it is Goddard's ball. I heard some of her teammates telling her to before she passed it to shoot it from there. <laughs> Now, you still got a game to win. You can't just uh, be going on there, you know, looking for a lucky goal. You got to. Nobody's cheering for her more than I am, but you got to look at the big picture, and the big picture is we have a game to win. Oh, absolutely. Foreman sends one forward. Mignot's fighting for it, couldn't get it. Oh. Nice job by Helena. And she'll get it again. She'll send it wide for Nistis. Michaela Nistis, in my opinion, has played the best game of her, her career here today. She has been just solid. Morrison sends it forward. Aylman can't get, get anything going. Now Thomas trying to slide it in, can't do it. Hillman again, sends one deep, goes all the way back to Esparza, and this is doing a great job of running the clock as we have 18 seconds nope, remaining. they just called it. And they just did call it, it, it is final. Grizzlies win, <laughs> two to nothing. And they will play at 9.30 tomorrow morning. Can you do me a favor real quick while I'm still live? Can you go downstairs and see if we know who our opponent is? We'll keep it live here until we get an answer, whether or not that has been posted yet. Because that game is being played over on turf, I believe. Two great assists by Geraldine Ailman. And a couple of nice goals. That second one by Munoz. Wow. That was just a thing of beauty. From the get-go. So, we want to acknowledge... <clears throat> we want to acknowledge our sponsors, by the way, who uh, are being gracious enough. You know, we made it... Kind of made it clear that during the JV tournament... We were not going to run ads during the game like we do, you know, during the regular season games when we run those 10-second spots. We wanted to keep it on the soccer field as much as possible. So we've done that except for the East. East. We're going to play East tomorrow, folks. Anyway, again, we want to thank our sponsors for their patience and letting us do that and uh, ask you to thank them by offering them your patronage and your thanks for sponsoring Grizzlies Soccer throughout the year through the golf tournament. Okay, we're going to play East High tomorrow morning at 9.30. We'll be on the air at 9.20. <clears throat> Pardon me. We'll be on the air at 9.20 tomorrow. And it's going to be cold. Very cold tomorrow morning, 38 degrees at kickoff. Join us for breakfast with the Grizzlies tomorrow. For Ashley Isbell, I'm Kevin Arkin saying thanks for joining us for both games today. Enjoyed bringing them both to you. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning for the finale of the Junior Varsity Tournament. Until tomorrow morning, have a great evening.